19 Memorandum of Understanding with the Black Forest Slash and Mulch Committee. Sam Com for the operation of the Black Forest Slash and Mulch Program. Tim Wilkin, Executive Director, Community Services. And Kathy Andrew, Manager, Environmental Division. All right, you may proceed. Good morning, Commissioners. Kathy Andrew, El Paso County Community Services Department, Environmental Division. We have a short... Um, um, it's coming. Oh, okay. Okay. So, uh, commissioners, before you today, you have a uh, request to approve the, res the MOU between El Paso County and SAMCOM. SAMCOM. SAMCOM um, is the Slash and Mulch Committee um, that um, volunteers actually runs the Black Forest Slash Mulch site. Um, it's essentially remained the same for nine years. Um, and it has worked exceptionally well. Um, generally, a SAMCOM board member is here to present this and just provide you some of the overview of 2018. However, um, he is extremely ill today and was not able to make it, so I'm just gonna stand in for a bit. Mr. DeWitt um, um, re regrets that he can't make it today, but um, we'll try to update you on in the, in the springtime as well. Um, so, this is the Black Forest Slash Mulch um, Year in Review. Uh, this, it was this, the Black Forest Slash Mulch Program was actually a brainchild of Ruth Ann Steele, a longtime resident of the Black Forest. Incidentally, her property uh, was the first conservation easement that El Paso County took on the 24th of July, 1997, 308 acres. Ruth Ann has a passion for all things earth, for sure, especially wildfire mitigation and um, noxious weeds. Um, so she was the, actually the brainchild behind starting the Slash and Mulch program. The program began in 1994 with the assistance of El Paso County, the State Land Board, Colorado State Forest Service, and the Colorado Forestry Association. It's been a rousing success ever since. The goals of the program really are to, for a place to provide residents to do their wildfire mitigation so that they can bring their slash, which is their tree debris, to the forest to actually have it ground up and recycled, if you will, so they can go pick up the mulch and bring it back and put it on the earth to provide uh, moisture and nutrients to grow those trees again. Um, this, the, the, uh, the, uh, Black Forest SLAMCOM Committee provides all kinds of education, partnerships, and everything, um, everything from chainsaw management to tree and, and um, uh, forest diseases to noxious weed mitigation. Um, here are the statistics for the last 25 years that the program has been in place. Um, so as you can see, the highlighted ones are the fires. The 2002 was the Heyman fire. 2013 was the Black Forest Fire. Unfortunately, nothing like a fire to get people out there clearing their program, or clearing their property. However, um, it only takes a few years and people, again, to become complacent. So as you can see, um, the uh, loads drop down then again. However, still a very, very successful program. Staffed totally by volunteers. Um, and really run by SAMCOM, the, um, the Slash and Mulch Committee. Um, El Paso County Solid Waste Fund, the restricted funds, pro provides $35,000 each year for the grinding costs. SAMCOM um, provides $10,000 for that. SAMCOM charges $2 for every load that comes in. Additionally, they do get some grants from the, uh, the uh, Colorado Forest Service and a few other things. Currently, they have a balance of about $38,000 in their checking account. But all in all, it's been a great partnership. These were some of the customer comments that we got this year. Um, the customers do fill out comment sheets and um, information sheets, and these are just some of the comments that they've made on those, on those sheets this year. And um, just very, very happy with the program and happy to be able to have the program. And really, that's all I have, just some pictures. Thank you. This is a, a great deal, right, in, in terms of people that want to get mulch. It's actually, if you, if you go out there, it's absolutely free to pick up the mulch, but if you want it loaded, you got to pay five bucks to have it, uh, to have someone help you load it. Do I understand all that correctly? That is absolutely correct. So you either have a choice of money or a little bit of elbow grease. So if you bring your pitchfork and your trailer, you certainly may take it for no fee. 
Um, if you want the loader to actually load it into your truck for you, yes, it is $5 a bucket, three cubic yard bucket load. But it's still, I mean, a great deal compared best deal to in town. Pioneer or it, absolutely a steal. Yes. Yeah, best deal in town. Absolutely. Anything else, Commissioner Williams? Well, having worked for Kathy <laughs> and with this program, um, I am just amazed by the number of volunteers it takes to run it, and they have a really good base of volunteers that get out there and help every Saturday for four or five months, and Tuesdays and Thursdays and Sundays as well, and um, it really does promote, um, I would say, fire prevention, so forest mitigation. Absolutely. They never take a holiday. If the 4th of July is on a Saturday or a Tuesday or a Thursday day that they're open, they always work. They're always working the Memorial Day holiday, the Memorial Day weekend and the Labor Day weekend. So it, it, it really is an incredible partnership, um, you know, like nothing I've ever seen. And really, it runs itself. So it's awesome. All right. Thank you. Thank you, commissioners. Item number 11. We need oh, we have, it is an MOU. Um, I would entertain a motion. I will move the um, approval of the resolution to execute the 2019 MOU with the Black Forest Slash Mulch Committee. Second. All right, that's been moved and seconded. And for the record, to be clear, that's still item number 10. I will call the roll. Commissioner Brimmer. Aye. Commissioner Williams. Aye. Commissioner Gonzalez. Aye. The chair votes aye. That passes four to zero with Commissioner Vander 